everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. For today's video, as you can see by the title, we're trying out the Jackie Ina technique. I am so freaking excited for this video. It has been on my like to-do list for videos since I started my channel. Also, if you're thinking that, hey, you're looking a little intense this morning, you're not wrong. I have been up since 6.45, it is now 11. I'm just having my first cup of coffee. I don't know, normally it's like the first thing that I do. This morning I got up, I dyed my hair, I re-dyed my eyebrows even though they didn't really need it. So if you see like crazy things with my skin, I just dyed my hair this morning, showered, and here we are. Let's get into it. So if you guys are not familiar with Jackie Ina, I will have her channel linked down below. But she does her makeup in a certain way that like a couple months ago, some girl like tried to claim on TikTok and then she was like doing it out of order. Was anyone else, dude, if you know what I'm talking about, was anyone else really bothered by that? Like girl, you're, no, sit your butt down. So what Jackie Ina does is she primes, then she takes her La Mercier powder, puts that on her face, and then she does her foundation. So, she also has like really specific things with her concealer and things that we're going to do today. She is really oily, which is why she puts powder underneath her foundation. And if you know me, you know that I am very oily. So yeah, we're gonna test this out and see if it works on my skin. She loves the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Now, I do have a review on this on my channel. I will link it in the description box down below. And I also used it in my e-girl transformation, which I will also link down below. And I am not the biggest fan of this. I've had this sample for months now, and I'm only halfway through it, and there's a reason why. But she uses this in most of her videos, so I'm going to do the same today. This primer becomes so extremely tacky. <laughs> you guys see this? Now, here comes the really interesting part. So, let me zoom you guys in a little. I have my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. She uses the deep one, obviously, because she has darker skin than I do. So I just use the translucent. And she normally gets this right on the bottom of her sponge. And she normally puts it like in her T-zone and in like her cheek-ish area, so. Again, I will do the same. I hear that this is supposed to like add coverage to your foundation along with making it last longer if you have oily skin. So I guess we will see. It does help blur everything. I also have the face detection like completely now turned off on my camera. I think that's what was happening with my videos. Like I felt like like sometimes my brows and stuff looked blurry and I didn't have the face smoothing thing on, but I did have the face detection on because sometimes it'll focus on my plant back there. So I turned that off and hopefully I stay in focus and everything looks more realistic. It definitely does, I have a fuzzy here and a hair over here, what is happening? Okay. My pores look extremely blurred, which I love because I have very large pores. So, so far this is looking really good. I mean, I realize it's just powder, but so far so good. All right, so for foundation, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. I was looking at ones that she uses and she doesn't use a mattifying foundation all the time. The last video I just watched, she was using the Shiseido Synchro Skin foundation, which was in my makeup wishlist video. I'll link it down below. <laughs> so I didn't want to use a mattifying foundation. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is my second, well here, I'm gonna put this on with a brush like she does and then I'll tell you about it while I do this. But um, this is actually my second time filming this video. How annoying. I did it yesterday and it turned out like absolute crap. And when I looked back at it, I thought I did not follow what she did. And it really screwed it up. Like I thought I was following it. And then looking back, I was like, girl, what are you doing? That is not, <laughs> that is not right. So um. This is actually my second time filming it and I feel like it's going to go well. Positive thinking everyone, positive thoughts.
Something that I did yesterday was use way too much foundation. She actually doesn't use that much. She uses about two pumps, which I mean that can be a lot, but the amount that I used yesterday was a crazy amount and it's already looking a bit better. Really quick, this is what I noticed with that primer. It looks so bad on my upper lip every time. Like this entire area right around my nose. This is exactly what happened in my e-girl transformation video. It's not doing it as badly, but it's still doing it. It's so patchy right over here on both sides. And it just like looks extremely textured. Anyway. My thing that I'm actually still noticing is that the powder really soaks up the foundation, like a lot. So normally I can take my brush and like really buff on the foundation, but, and I've always thought this, she has a very certain way that her brush moves when she does her foundation. It's like these little motions like this. And now I get it. It's because the powder is soaking that foundation up and you can't buff it anymore because like it stops moving because it's getting soaked up. All right, so moving on with the technique, she normally uses a Kevin Aquan concealer, which is extremely full coverage, like extremely. And she does this thing that she calls backlighting, where she does an extremely light concealer right here, and then does something a little closer to her skin tone right on top. I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in 20B Light as my light concealer. And over top, I'm going to use my CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in Perfect Beige. I mean, something that she does, she really caters to her face. I mean, she treats her face like a freaking piece of art, which I mean, when she's done, it looks like it. Her makeup process is extremely well thought out and it shows. She always does a little sun, so I'm going to do a little thing too. I'm gonna add the tiniest little touch of Tarte Shape Tape, because I think that concealer is actually too dark with this foundation for what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like a glam look, because that's what she does. Oh dang, she lets this sit. All right, I'm going to do it. She lets her concealer sit while she puts on her contour. That makes me so nervous, but I guess we're going to do the same. E I already know with this KKW stick that it looks better when I take it off of the stick with a brush and then put it on. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm using this contour stick in the wrong freaking thing. Oh sh shoot. Well, that could have been intense. I was almost going to use it in dark. I'm using the KKW contour stick in medium. As you can see, I'm spending a lot of time blending this out. It's drying down a little bit faster than it normally would. It's not bad. It's still workable, but... Okay, that actually blended out very easily on my forehead, probably because I didn't get as much powder around like this area. It was definitely more difficult to blend out over here, but still doable. She always blends out her contour with a brush, which is why we did it that way, and blends out her concealer with a sponge. So I hope it's not dried down too much that it doesn't even blend. Eee, see, look at that. Mm. Below. You guys see this patch here that will not blend out? Hmm. 
No way! Where the Tarte Shape Tape was sitting on my chin. I don't know if this will show up on camera. There's literally a spot of foundation missing. Like a, that little stripe that was there is now gone. I am still trying. Oh my god, no, there's literally <laughs> the sun shape that I made. I don't, oh god, I don't know if this is gonna show up. It, you can literally still see it. Can you, oh man, I really hope that's showing up. It's literally like right there. Perfect, still. It just dried down completely. And I just tried out that CoverGirl True Blend Mascara in Friday's video. I'll have it linked down below. And I love it. I've used it multiple times since. It doesn't dry down that fast. Like, it's not like the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. That thing dries down like freaking crazy. You have to do like one side of your face at a time. This one definitely normally doesn't dry down this fast. Oh god. Oh my god. There's legit just dots. <laughs> I'm afraid to swipe because then it's just gonna move the foundation. Oh God. Ah! Okay. Mm -hmm. Moving on to powder, I guess, cause I can't get that blended out. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder just because she doesn't use her Laura Mercier powder to set her foundation. So I just wanna use another powder too. She uses one from Derma Blend, but I don't have that one. And then she just uses the excess on her sponge to set the rest of her face. Well, that wasn't excess, was it? <laughs> I dipped back in, but I didn't think I picked up that much. Jeez. And what she does with her powder is she bakes down the center of her nose with that. I'm sure you guys already see this, but you'll see people take and dip their sponges into their powder and do that like clean up thing where it looks like they have like a white beard. It's to like clean up their contour because if you let powder sit, it helps brighten up the area. So I don't like doing that. I'm just not a fan of the way it looks. I like a more like blown out look. I think it looks more natural. So you'll never see me like bake my cheek area or underneath my eyes because then I think your eyes look super creepy. Anyway, she bakes down the center of her nose to get a highlight because she doesn't contour her nose, which normally I do. But I'm gonna try it this way and I'm going to bake right down the center. <sighs> I'm going to dust this off now. Every, oh crap, I totally dusted off my nose. Um, everything like down here is looking, oh, no, look how intense that, is right there. Oh no! I just like clear wiped it away. Look! Oh my god. Shoot. Okay, but well, we're gonna bronze now. And I'm going to use my Bare Minerals bronzer in the shade Warmth. And I don't want a lot of this because that contour is really coming through. And she just kind of like pats everything on. Guys, this is absolutely ridiculous. Do you see? This freaking, I think you can see it. Look at this freaking thing on my forehead. <sighs> now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Color Icon blush in pearlescent pink. And that is it for the face. I'm not going to put on any powder highlight because she doesn't put on any powder highlight. That's it for the base. I can see that freaking sun on my freaking forehead. Mm -mm. You know what? I'm still going to do it. I want to do an eyeshadow look inspired by Jackie Ina. I'm using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. She loves pink. 
She also has like the most amazing amount of lid space you've ever seen. It's like her crease doesn't even exist. Like her eyes are just like this and you can just see her entire eyelid all the time. And I'm so jealous. It's going to be a pretty simple look. It's going to be intense. I already know it. So I'm using my Morphe Artistry Palette in 15S Social Butterfly. This does not exist on Morphe's website anymore if you live in the US. But if you're in Canada or the UK, it's still available, which I don't really understand. Normally I have all of the products that I use linked down below in my description box, but um, this will not be because again, it's not available to me. So I don't know. So first I'm going in with the shade Add, which is kind of like a nice transition shade. All right, my camera overheated, so I took the opportunity to do my brows while it was off and cooling down. So I just used my Urban Decay Brow Blade in Dark Drapes, and I topped my brows off with my Elf Wow Brow in Deep Brown. Back to the eyeshadow. Let's get into the exciting part. So I was saying that Jackie Anna loves pink eyeshadow, like is obsessed with it, and that's why I'm using this palette. Like, I think I want this hot pink, like over my, like all over which is kind of crazy, but you know, why not? I'm taking it on a flat brush. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, dang it, I forgot I wanted to do a cut crease. Oh shoot. Before I continue on with that pink, on a concealer brush, I'm just going to grab more of my eye primer and I'm going to create a cut crease. Going back in with the pink and I'm just gonna lay that down and make sure I get a nice sharp edge up there. You know what this uh, shade reminds me of? It reminds me of the hot pink in the James Charles palette and it's Morphe still, so it's still affordable. So I will link that palette down below instead of this one. It is taking a second to build this up. I'm gonna take the other side of the brush and go into the shade Bay. I guess I'm just kind of putting this in the center and then I'm going to blend it out towards the outer corner. Okay, next I'm going in with the shade Makeover and this is going to be like my outer corner into the crease deeper shade. I'm going to jump into that influencer shade and this is going to go on my lower lash line. All right, and then the very last thing that I'm going to do is take the shade, um, I'm gonna mix Insta Famous and Now Trending. They're both shimmers, but one seems too pink and one seems too gold. So I'm gonna mix the two and put this in my inner corner. All right, I think that's all I wanna do for the eyes. For mascara, I'm going to use my NYX On The Rise Volume Lift Mascara. Uh, my favorite thing is when I come back and forget to hit the record button. So it's exactly what I just did. Um, you didn't miss much. All I did was put on a lipstick. So I used my NYX Slim Lip Pencil in the shade Mauve, and then I topped it with my Maybelline lipstick in 920 Nude Lust. So there's that. And yeah, this is the finished look. So obviously today's video wasn't supposed to be so much about the eye look and everything else. It was more about the base, but 
I like to add more to my videos because I'm already here and why not? Like I already like to do it, so. Let's talk about the base. I really, really, really wish I had not left that concealer sitting. And it's not even like I left it too long. Like it's not like she leaves it for like 10 seconds and I left it for 30 seconds or something like that. Well, I probably left it for like a minute because she will sit there and draw on her concealer, blend out her contour, and in the middle of blending out both her contour and her concealer, she will stop multiple times to like talk to the camera, and I get like anxiety about it. I'm like, oh my God, blend out your concealer before it dries down. And it always blends out perfectly fine. So then I was like, you know what? Obviously she does this every time she does her makeup, it's gotta be fine, right? Like, I really hope, I think it's showing up, that this is still on my freaking forehead. Yeah, there it is. So what I'm really here for also is the powder underneath the foundation. So I have to say this looks much better than it did yesterday because yesterday I used way too much foundation because again, the powder was just soaking it up. But I also was using a mattifying foundation. So that's why today I used my photo focus foundation because that's not mattifying. It's just kind of like a, satin finish like a normal right down the middle of the road kind of deal my base actually looks really really nice if it weren't for this stupid sunset on my forehead it would look really good even like my upper lip and around my nose looks a lot better than it was before so that's good to know it actually looks pretty dang flawless like my pores look extremely minimized the only thing right in here I don't know if that'll pick up on camera, but it does look a little cakey and heavy right around here. Everything else though is looking really good. Yeah, so I've actually been sitting here for about 45 minutes, almost an hour. And normally by now, like I can totally start to see my like natural oils coming through and my foundation is looking a little bit oily by the end of the video. You can't really see it on camera, but in person I'm like, ooh, like I need a touch up right around in here and I am still extremely matte and for how oily I am, this is really awesome. So I think my conclusion is that I would definitely 100% do this again, not on an everyday basis. Like this to me is very much only for like special occasion or like I'm going out to dinner in the city, but not that that's happening anytime soon. I actually really, really like this. This went way better than it did yesterday. I'm so glad I redid this video. That's the thing, sometimes you try things out and they don't work on the first try. You might think to yourself, never again, but guess what? Do it again, try it out and see. Sometimes you just need to cater it more for yourself than what you expect. So not everything that someone else does is going to work perfectly for you in the exact same way. So I think this is a perfect example of one of those times. Overall, I'm very happy with the outcome. Actually, the more that I'm looking at it, the more, the more I'm loving it. Okay, actually there's something else too for this video and that is that my schedule is changing. I think I'm gonna go back to Tuesdays and Fridays as we start to get out of lockdown and I am trying to like also pursue a real career. So yeah, I'm really sad about it, but I just wanna be consistent and I don't wanna promise Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday if I can't deliver that, so we are going back to Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, on that sad note, I hope that you found today's video informative and helpful. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Videos are going to be Tuesdays and Fridays at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And everything that I use today will be linked in the description box down below with prices next to it as usual. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it and go have a good one. Bye. Longest time has, I mean, since I, she, uh, she, and she is, and she is, uh, gosh, normally I have, ever, I'm going to add the ty, twiniest, twi, twi, like a twi, okay, for contour, or, I'm just gonna grab more of my, uh, oh my god, what is this called? Primer potion. Eye base, eye, eye primer. Oh my God. This video was pretty, let me. I'm 
sneeze. <sighs> Every time, it's like my body knows I'm on camera. Dang it. <sighs> takes a sponge, oops, God. oops, pretty, so I took the upper, oh shoot, talk about the bait, now, I need to finish my coffee, 